Orissa, India has been the focus of so much pain and terror. World Impact Ministries launched a campaign that revealed God's love to the people who have faced injustice and humiliation. With a population of approximately 40 million people, Orissa has faced the most religious tension of any state in India in the past 15 years. Attacks in Orissa have included killing priests and pastors, raping nuns and other Christian women, vandalizing churches, schools, and cemeteries, and forcing thousands to convert to Hinduism. In January 1999, Australian missionary Graham Staines and his two sons were killed when they were trapped in a car that was set on fire. Into this hostile environment, Peter Younger and the team took the good news of Jesus' love and grace to all people. Here are two families who went through these atrocities and received supernatural healing at the Gospel Festival. Something wonderful has happened. The doctors told this woman, she will never be able to see with her eyes again. That's what the doctor told me. Mama, you know that's very sad. Mama, the doctor said it's impossible. But Jesus said it's possible. Mama, look at me. Hallelujah. Look at me. Touch this paper, Mama. Touch this paper. Touch it. No, no, Mama, don't be it. I'm sure. Yeah. Hallelujah. The doctor said she will never see again. Mama, 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 Mama. Touch me, Desi knows. Touch it. <laughs> Mama, come here, Mama. Mama can see. The doctor said to her, you will never see again. I know she still needs more healing in her back. Maybe that will happen tomorrow. In the communal riots, her back was broken. That's why she is like this. Then she was blind. Tonight, Jesus has opened her eyes. During the communal riot, people came with the weapons to burn all the Christian houses. All the grandkids and children ran into the jungle. But she couldn't run because of her age. When they came to attack me, I told them, don't burn my house, don't take my rice and wheat. They said, we came to kill you and put a sword on my neck. They yelled, you have taken money from the foreigners and converted into Christianity, so we are going to kill you. Then they got me and threw me on the rock and I lay there for three days. She dragged herself for two kilometers to the road with her broken back and people they took her to the relief the camp. After a few days, we found out that she was in the relief camp. She was crying for seven days, and the result of that, she lost her vision. So we took her to the hospital in Bhuvaneshwar, and doctors said they cannot operate and she will never see again. Then we heard about the festival in our church, and we came. I'm from the village. I don't understand Oriya and Hindi. So my daughter told me that a preacher is praying now. And I closed my eyes and I felt like someone was opening my eyes. After the prayer, I opened my eyes and I could see everything. I wanted to go to the stage and tell everyone that I can see. His name is Mr. B.J. Nayak. And for two years, this eye was blind. Can you see my face? Touch my nose. Come on, touch it. Hallelujah! 
I can see! My dad was tortured in the communal riot that happened in Kandamali district, which involved the killing of several Christians. We had 19 Christian families in the village. That day, some RSS people with red bandanas, swords, and sharp weapons came to the village shouting and killed many Christians living there. Seeing this, we ran into the jungle and did not return to the village. I was blind in my left eyes for two years. Today, I can see. Because of my financial problems, I could not afford an operation. I remember when Peter said, Jesus is same yesterday, today, and forever. Then he asked to put my hands on my eyes and pray. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every blind spirit, come out! I felt the power of God and when I opened my eyes, I could see everything. Jesus' love and grace has been revealed to Arissa through Pastor Peter and World Impact Ministries. Thank you, partners, for standing with us in the impossible so Jesus can be presented.